News coming in right now. Rahul Gandhi's first reaction after getting bailed. Rahul shoots the messenger again. Asked in BJP charges, Rahul snaps back. Why do you always say what BJP is saying? Every time you say what BJP is saying, that's a very simple thing. ये जो ये जो ये जो 20,000 करोड़ रुपए अदानी जी की शेल कंपनीज में हैं, ये किसके हैं? ये बेनामी हैं, किसके हैं? Sir, BJP is saying कि आप लोग जुडिशरी पे प्रेशराइज कर रहे हैं. Why do you always say what BJP is saying? Every time you say what BJP is saying, that's a very simple thing. ये जो ये जो ये जो 20,000 करोड़ रुपए अदानी जी की शेल कंपनीज में हैं, ये किसके हैं? ये बेनामी हैं, किसके हैं? My colleague Rahul Gautam is now joining us live this morning. Rahul, the question was about the allegation which is being leveled against the Congress party that they are trying to pressurize the judiciary. That was the question. Instead, Rahul Gandhi, of course, chose to answer in whatever way that he wished to answer, targeting the messenger again for asking a question. Absolutely, follow me. The question that was asked uh, was, uh, uh, you know, about the allegation that had been leveled against Congress Party that they are trying to pressurize uh, uh, judiciary, uh, given the fact that the entire top brass of Congress Party was there in Surat when Rahul Gandhi, uh, 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 you know, was present there for a hearing in his case, uh, in, in, in a defamation case. Now, uh, to which Rahul Gandhi actually dodged this question and said that, uh, uh, you know, why are you, uh, uh, you know, asking BJP's question? In fact, you should ask that, uh, you know, who's those shell companies are in which uh, 20,000 crore rupees have been pumped into uh, into Adani companies. In fact, he also said that why people are not raising uh, questions about the money, uh, enormous amount of money which is being uh, coming in, uh, in, in into Adani enterprises, into the uh, LS shell companies of Adani. And in fact, he also said that there are a lot many Benami properties uh, which are allegedly controlled by uh, Adani enterprises to which nobody is raising questions. So obviously, he was trying to shift the goalpost. Uh, but we have to really understand that. That he has been raising this question for quite some time that uh, how uh, the current incumbent government is, is giving favors, undue favors to Adani enterprises and this is one charge that he has been making relentlessly. In fact, Congress party is saying that because he was asking these tough and uncomfortable questions to Modi government, therefore, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, therefore he was, uh, uh, you know, his, his membership was cancelled from parliament and in fact he was uh, made silent. So obviously uh, Rahul Gandhi is only sticking to his guns and obviously, uh, you know, standing his ground very firmly and and obviously uh, making those allegations again that, uh, that the current incumbent government is actually helping Adani enterprises to grow, which obviously uh, uh, is a classic example of crony capitalism. Okay. Rahul, stay on with us. Let's listen in to what the former member of parliament had to say. BJP is saying that you are judiciary to pressurize the Why do you always say what BJP is saying? Every time you say what BJP is saying, that's a very simple thing. ये जो ये जो ये जो 20,000 करोड़ रुपए अदानी जी की शेल कंपनीज में हैं, ये किसके हैं? ये बेनामी हैं, किसके हैं? Sir, BJP is saying कि आप लोग जुडिशरी पे प्रेशराइज कर रहे हैं. Why do you always say what BJP is saying? Every time you say what BJP is saying, that's a very simple thing. ये जो ये जो ये जो 20,000 करोड़ रुपए अदानी जी की शेल कंपनीज में हैं, ये किसके हैं? ये बेनामी हैं. Okay, so there you heard what Rahul Gandhi had to say when the question, of course, was about the allegation which is being leveled by the Bharatiya Janata Party that when Rahul Gandhi, of course, arrived at the Surat Sessions Court with an entourage of Congress biggies, he was allegedly trying to pressurize the judiciary. Rahul Gautam, my colleague, continues to be live with us. What does the Congress have to say, Rahul, about the show of strength, so to say, that the Congress put out on display in Surat yesterday when Rahul Gandhi was there along with three state chief ministers, at least Priyanka Gandhi Badra as well. 
Well, as far as Congress party is concerned, they have rejected this charge, saying that uh, uh, the, 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 the leadership that was there was, was there in their personal capacity only to show their solidarity with uh, their supreme leader, uh, Rahul Gandhi. In fact, uh, the, uh, all the three chief ministers were there, rightly pointed out by you, Sukhvinder Singh, Sukhu, Bhupesh Baghel, Ashok Gelat. And apart from these three, Priyanka Gandhi was also there. Uh, then the, there are a number of MPs who were there, for example, uh, Mr. K.C. Givindu Gopal was there. So obviously, uh, the BJP is saying that uh, uh, this was this was done only to pressurize the judiciary and sessions court given the fact that even the presence of Rahul Gandhi was not mandatory uh, for tomorrow uh, for yesterday's hearing and this was done only to mobilize the cadre only okay. to politically encash it and only to put more pressure on sessions Rahul just stay on so with us Shahzad Sonawala of the BJP national out spokesperson out. is over the phone line with us right now Shahzad the question to Rahul Gandhi was that the BJP is alleging that you tried to put pressure on the judiciary when of course you landed in Surat with that entourage. He turns the question around, shoots the messenger, says why do you always say what the BJP has to say? Answer for what are 20,000 crore rupees doing in Adani's shell companies? Who holds them? You know, Paulami, this is now becoming an irritating habit of Rahul Gandhi. First he said Hawa Nikaldi, now he abuses and shoots the journalist, shoots the messenger. Uh, the question, I heard that question, there was nothing wrong. Journ I don't think Rahul Gandhi knows how media or journalists function. Journalists who cover a particular issue will ask the leaders in concern that the other party or the other side is saying this. What is your response? It was a perfectly legitimate question that was posed to this entitled brat and dynast who once again took this opportunity to run down the journalists. And perhaps this runs in his family. You know how they've treated the media, how they've censored the media, etc. And here is another fact. About this 20,000 crores on Rahul Kaval's show and on Rajdeep's show, I myself asked Supriya Shene, who happens to champion their economic causes, where has this 20,000 crore figure come from? The official response of the Congress was, we are doing a big press conference, we are going to expose this. Till date, no idea about this 20,000 crores, no idea about what they've done on Adadi projects in their own states. But leave that aside. The focus of today's conversation, Paulami, is only this, that if Paulami Saha asks Rahul Gandhi that, look, the BJP is alleging this, why don't you give a response to this? Rahul Gandhi will turn back and say, BJP ka billa laga ke ghoom rao. Rahul Gandhi has so much uh, intolerance towards journalists who pose him a question that Jairam hasn't spoon-fed him about. This is his level of, uh, of his tolerance towards a journalist asking a perfectly legitimate question. What does this man think of himself? I mean, this is absolutely uncalled for, and I think journalists should now draw a line. The manner in which he insulted Ravi Sisodia, the manner in which he insulted Rajdeep Sardesa in that press conference, and now yet again he turns back and he insults journalists for doing a perfectly legitimate thing. If tomorrow a journalist tells me Congress is saying this about your party, will I start telling you you are Congress ki baat kar rahe? What is this nonsense? I think the journalist should take a stand on this. The Mumbai Press Club had taken a stand previously. Editors Guild, I don't know for whatever reason, they go quiet, they go mute. But I think it is high time that the journalists call out Rahul Gandhi and his immature uh, brackish behavior. Right. Shahzad, thank you so much for joining us. So the BJP says a perfectly legitimate question. This is how politicians are asked questions as well, that your opponent is saying this. This is the charge which is being made against you. How do you respond to the same? Not the first time that Rahul Gandhi has snapped back at journalists. Listen in to what happened previously. directly थोड़ी डिस्क्रेशन से करो यार, थोड़ा घूम घाम के पूछो, क्या आपको ऑर्डर दिया है क्या? देखो मुस्कुरा रहे हैं, घूम घाम मैं मैं आपको उदाहरण देता हूँ, आप थोड़ा घूम घाम के निकाल लोगों को बोलो, देखो ऐसे बोलो पहले राहुल जी, हाँ, तो प्लीज प्लीज इफ यू वांट टू वर्क फॉर द बीजेपी, even then, the question was perfectly legitimate. Listen in to the question today and how Rahul Gandhi responded. Sir, BJP is saying that you are pressurizing the judiciary on the judiciary. Why do you always say what BJP is saying? Every time you say what BJP is saying. There is a very simple thing. These 20,000 crore rupees in Adani Ji's shell companies are in the shell. ये किसके हैं? ये बेनामी हैं? किसके हैं? सर बीजेपी इस सेंग कि आप लोग जुडिशरी पे प्रेशराइज कर रहे हैं। कल जिस तरह से बीजेपी इस सेंग? 
Every time you say what BJP is saying, that's a very simple thing. ये जो ये जो ये जो 20,000 करोड़ रुपए अदानी जी की शेल कंपनीज में हैं, ये किसके हैं? ये बेनामी हैं, किसके हैं? So you heard that interaction, that short exchange there that Rahul Gandhi had at the AICC headquarters. Rahul Gautam, my colleague, continues to be live with us. It was a perfectly legitimate question, is what the BJP has to say. Even if you hear that question, Rahul, you were there, of course. It was a legitimate question. You ask a question about a charge, an allegation which is being leveled against you. You attribute it to the source. The journalist could have simply said, you're being charged, you're being alleged to have tried to pressurize the judiciary. Instead, the journalist attributed it to the source, which is the BJP is leveling that charge against you. What's wrong in that question? Well, obviously, the uh, the uh, the question was absolutely legitimate, and in fact, uh, uh, you know, the, the journalist that who asked that question, in fact, he countered also Rahul Gandhi, saying that, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is what BJP is saying and not my charge. Uh, and uh, to which Rahul Gandhi then said that we should ask, uh, you know, uh, PM Modi uh, and Adani uh, about the 20,000 crore rupees that have come into, uh, you know, his enterprises via uh, some alleged shell companies that are particularly owned by and controlled by Adani Group. Also, so obviously, you can say that, uh, you know, he was merely trying to shift the goalpost and trying to dodge this question that was asked, uh, you know, uh, about the uh, uh, pressurizing of judiciary, a charge that has been leveled against them by BJP. And in fact, uh, we just heard Shahzad Poonawala also who said that uh, the, the entire top brass of Congress party landing in Surat was, was just, uh, uh, you know, a show of strength. Obviously, they were trying to, uh, uh, you know, intimidate uh, uh, the judiciary. This is the charge that was coming in by, by the BJP. But as far as Rahul Gandhi is concerned, he, uh, he seems to be uh, uh, you know, uh, not responding to BJP, uh, BJP's charges or BJP's allegations. He was, he was merely putting forward his argument or his idea that how uh, the current uh, government is only giving undue favors to Adani enterprises and, and he believes that these such questions are only diversion in tactics uh, that, uh, that are being employed by BJP and uh, 